<laughs> so Scott, uh, Scott's joining us today because you, you'd reached out to JD and I earlier this week, and you'd said that there's a there's a couple of Joshi wrestlers that are in the states or they're coming to the states that have openly expressed interest about coming to Impact. Why don't you talk about it? Yeah. So the main one that I wanted to bring up was uh, her name's Unagi Sayaka. She was a very popular wrestler in Stardom, um, which of course is the biggest Joshi promotion. Mm -hmm. uh, her popularity is so big that like she has her being on like the Joshi indie shows has given them their highest attendance dates or attendance numbers in like years, <laughs> which oh. is pretty crazy because she was never a world champion. She was never like a top champion, but she was part of the most popular faction, which was Cosmic Angels. And that's probably the most fa uh, popular faction internationally as well. Which is why when I saw her say AEW and Impact, I was like, oh, that's, you know, she's saying, hey, bring me in. And it's like, yeah. okay, well, someone needs to listen to this. If someone's willing mm -hmm. to put uh, put you up by name, she's coming uh, to the States in May for the very first time. Uh, she's doing West Coast Pro's Queen of the Indies uh, tournament, um, which the moment those tickets went on sale, the front row sold out instantly. And for an indie, pro indie promotion, that's pretty good, um, especially when it's not GCW and it's a it's you know one spot. And I don't like GCW, but that's neither here nor there. Um, we get along. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we like, you, buddy. <laughs> but there are other Joshi wrestlers that are working GCW as well. But Unagi was the main one because she even posted a video. She's been trying to learn English, like she is oh, going wow. the extra mile uh, because she isn't a full me uh, time member of Stardom anymore. But she's very popular. Um, she's still technically with stardom. You you get how that works. You never really know. Right. Uh, especially on the Japan side of things. We'll never probably be told why she's not. Um, but she's very, like I said, she's very popular. I think she would bring eyes and she'd be an interesting person for uh, Impact to bring in. Even if it's for a one-off. You know I, know, I know you guys were talking about how they're bringing in... Um, Oh, what's the girl's name next week? I don't, I don't uh, remember her name. Uh, Stephanie Delander, Persia Pro. Yes, yes. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know if she's going to be signed with Impact. That, But even if it's a one-off, like that's the type of thing you should do with Unagi because that's the type of thing AEW does with like Dark, for example, yeah. right? They'll toss someone on there for one show. People will get really excited and they'll check it out on YouTube. It's very mm -hmm. simple thing. So I think if Impact were willing to do that, she doesn't have you know pure TV training because she wrestles in you know a Japanese promotion that doesn't focus on looking at the hard cam and stuff like that. But I think well, she would and, be someone worth bringing in. Yeah, yeah. And Impact brings in a lot of J Japanese talent. I mean, we got yeah. Yui Mora now, and then um, we have Kashida on the show tonight. And I know that right. uh, a lot of New Japan talents coming in for No Surrender and. Uh, according to PW Insider, anyway, they're they're bringing in some extra New Japan talents. No, no, no surrender. We just don't know who it is. So, yeah, no, I, I think that would be a great idea. I mean, like, honestly, you got Masha Slamovich and Mickey James coming up. I don't think Masha's winning that one. I think there's probably going to be some fuckery with that. And we'll Mickey James is going to, yeah, Mickey James <laughs> is going to, is going to hold on to that title. And look, if you want to get Masha heated back up again, why not bring in one yeah. of these Joshi talents and just like show exactly what Masha can do? Why not bring in some Joshi wrestlers to face Deanna Perrazzo and Taya Valkyrie and, and, and Killer Kelly, all who have some Joshi experience? Why not showcase that part of it? You can you can you can be a lot of different things with impact because you mm -hmm. have that flexibility of being on your own network. So take some chances and bring these girls in. And I guarantee the TV ratings might not go up. But the coveted YouTube views would go up, I oh, believe, yeah. because of the international audience that you get on YouTube. I oh, think God. those clips would do do wonders, and they love that stuff. Well, here's the thing, too. This is a company that hangs its hat on the knockouts division, right? Yeah. But we have a very stale division right now. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot that we haven't seen before, you know, aside from Taylor Wilde doing witchcraft. Who, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so why not bring? I mean, like, who cares about TV ratings? They yeah. don't care about TV ratings. No. Nothing they do brings up the TV. Like it's we're gonna hang out around hundred thousand every week. Some weeks mm -hmm. it'll be really bad if there's a football game on, right? We hang it's it's what it is. So why not do something like you said, interesting that'll spike your YouTube numbers a little bit? Like you're right, yeah. none of none of the impact faithful will care 
about a Joshi coming in. But you might get the other side. You might get some of those Joshi fans willing to check out Impact. And Impact and, is the phase where we need to find more fans, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a great idea. And those Joshi fans are hard fucking core, man, especially oh, on yeah. the internet I and especially on YouTube. Scary, man. They, actually. They're yeah. scary. <laughs> they, they are they are scary and they could be quite rude honestly and we we saw the effects of that before so but yeah i i think it would be awesome to bring them in yeah sure think about any of those fans i think they're all wonderful people <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, good fortune i'm in the mess i'm in the mess so i could say whatever i feel like <laughs> towards them yeah. but uh i will also say that so the connection that unagi has that i think this can work out is that she works with the promotion marvelous mostly nowadays Marvelous is the same promotion that Masha Slamovich trained in mm. when she got, you know, stuck over in Japan during COVID. Uh, so there is a connection there. And that is the type of match I think would put over Masha all the more because the one thing Unagi is best at is selling, getting yeah. destroyed. Like it's it's a art that, you know, is give or take, you know, if you watch WWE for years, you know that Dolph Ziggler made that his famous thing, and that's why he never moved too far up the card. Uh, but I think <laughs> that's something if, say, Masha loses, which, like you said, she probably will, that's someone you bring in, they can have a really solid match, and even if it brings in YouTube viewers, I think that's a win for Impact. 